All right, so for those who are watching this video, no, this is not a, um, a technical error. Yes, the screen is black, but it's black for this very reason. And it's because uh, today, June 2nd, is officially Blackout Tuesday. On this particular day, across the whole United States, black people everywhere, including the other dissidents, such as Hispanics, Samoans, Asians, um, Indians, whoever else is joining us in this protest, we're pretty much blacking out our own. Um, our social media, that means on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, we're all blacking out our screens. And this is the honor of the deaths of not only George Floyd, but Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Eric Garner, Alton Sterling, Sandra Bland, Stephon Clark, Trayvon Martin, and, any, and Philio Castillo, and anybody else named who I didn't mention who have pretty much have died from the struggle of police brutality. This is what we're doing it for. You're welcome to join me. You can also black out your uh, your social medias too. But we're just tired. And this is a day for us to reflect on what's happening and for what we can do to change our communities. Right? So that's why this screen is black. I'm black and I'm proud. Right? And I can't help but be what I am. You know, I was born black and I'm going to die black. And for you, you know, these, some of these police officers, like the ones who killed George Ford and everybody else whose names I mentioned earlier in this video, you no, know, you can't kill somebody just because of the color of their skin. That's uncalled for, that's unnecessary. But unfortunately, this has been happening for centuries. This has been happening for decades. But as far as 2020, we can change, we can change things by being a better community. And what I mean by that is we just got to get rid of the people who have bad intentions, who don't want to live in a, in a society where everybody's equal, right? If you are an officer and you can't obey the law, you took the oath, but you basically doing crime, then you should not be on the force, period. That's just all it is to it. There ain't no conspiracy theory behind it, Right? Ain't no secret society had nothing to do with it. That's just it's just hatred. You know, there's certain there's a lot of white folks that's been hating black people for years. There was another video, of my my homegirl Kristen Payton, shouts out to her. She posted a video of a of a Caucasian man pretty much saying why his people been um, killing black folks. And he simply said in a video, I'll never forget it, he said, Oh, people, black folks continue to rise up. He said it. We we killed them. We, we, we act just like the uh, Pharaoh. We didn't let God's people go. We hate on them. We call them names. You know, so we had them, them enslaved. So next thing, they just keep rising up. He said, black folks have, have found ways to rise up throughout the last 400 years. So now we, um, we want to kill them now. He said, things cannot change until white people let God's people go. This is a man who said it on her video. Also, shouts out to my friend um, Raul. Go on his um, Instagram, more Raul six. You know his video. It also shows uh, a Hispanic man getting harassed by the police. See, this affects everybody. Yeah, all lives do matter, but but what black folks are saying is that we've been this been happening for us the most, right? All lives do matter. I agree with you. Just as well as black lives matter. So if all lives matter, that means my black people should matter too. For those that want to argue with that statement. And again, if you are a Caucasian person, you are against this racism and you have spoken up, then I've honored you. And I've done that many times on this channel. But for the rest of you, and again, I mean this with all due respect, right? For the other races out there who like our music, you watch our athletes, you buy our clothes, right? You listen to our hip hop. You know, you, uh, you buy our, um, you watch us on TV, entertain you, whether it be soap opera, reality TV, right? Like I say, you watch us on WWE Network. You, know, you act like you, you, you act like you love our culture, but when it's time for you to speak up and defend your own friends who are black, 
and it comes for you to uh, to speak up, speak out against police brutality, you know where to be found. Those are particular people I don't respect no more. I truly don't. And I'm gonna say this now, and I and I, I'm, I mean all due respect, right? Because I know I'm a Christian man, and God has um has taught us to forgive, right? I understand that, but if you 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 if you are a friend of mine, right, and you're not black, then again, this goes to all my non-black friends, right, family included, the ones who was married into my family, right. If you are one, or if you either one of my friends, whether you be or whether you be a fraternity, whether you are a fraternity brother, right, or you either one of my friends, if you either one of my friends and you have not spoken up or said anything on your on your social media. About what's going on and why you don't, why you disapprove of police brutality and you feel it's wrong for what they've been doing, my people. Then by all means, you need to unfriend me, you need to block me, right? I'm not speaking to you no more. We are no longer cool. That goes for anybody, okay? Because again, man, you y'all see what's going on. A lot of stuff ain't just propaganda. A lot of these officers become officers, like I've told you in the other video, is because they hate us. That's just what it is. They become officers because it's the easiest way for them to get away with killing a black person. Right? They could kill a black person and go to another state and be protected. Yes, I'm against looting and rioting. Because the saddest thing is I had to wake up today, right? Just yesterday morning. I had to wake up yesterday morning and come to find out that the, uh, one of my favorite shops in Long Beach, the Jean Machine, that's what it's called. Shout out to my friend Sam. His shop got looted and raided. They stripped it clean. That's what I'm pissed off about. And I told y'all in my other video, looting and rioting wasn't going to change nothing. It's not. That's not what's going to change. That's not what's going to stop the police department from having these confederate rednecks in the uniform. That's not going to stop them. That's what they expect us to do. I told y'all that. And to come to find out my city alone, which has been ran down, it's been tore up. The Pike area, Pine Avenue, it's not the same no more. There's a lot of people that's out there without jobs. There's black owned, there's there's minority owners who aren't even who are not even white. There are black owners whose business got hit. And now they're gonna be struggling to recover because of the COVID-19. Y'all see what's going on. No, looting and riot is not the answer. I'm against that. But for the ones that's protesting for George Floyd, right? Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arby, and you doing it peacefully and you ain't out here raging. Because the problem is these looters ain't just going up inside these stores. They going inside neighborhoods. They tearing up people's cars. They attacking prime delivery trucks. Throwing old women down on the ground. Like, man, what kind of stuff is that? That's uncivilized. But for the ones that actually wants to do something right in our civilized and you got a plan, then all power to you. I raise my fist in the air to you. I salute you, brother and sister. And anybody non-black that's speaking up. And of course, every YouTube channel ain't going to be doing this. I understand it. Because I told y'all once before, my subscribers understand a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. The reason why I don't got over 200,000 some subscribers, I don't got, a, I don't got 20, 50K like some other um, YouTubers. Because again, people don't want to hear the truth. When I talk on my YouTube channels, I speak truth. And over the last four years, I've covered a lot of these, um, these, these cases. I've shown you how the judicial system is unfair to the black man and woman. I showed you that. I made comparisons. I covered a lot of these things on this channel. And I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to stop. But this is why this screen is uh, black for this video. Because it's Blackout Tuesday. So for those who are listening to this channel, for all my subscribers, this is what I need you to do. If you really are down with the cause, you really want to support me, Right? I'm going to need you to write down the goals you want this country to do. I want you to write down what you think this country needs to do towards stopping police brutality. I want you to let your voice be heard. Right? You can black out your social media like I'm doing on my Instagram, my Facebook, or you can. Yeah, there's other ways you can do the support. But I want y'all to pretty much write down some things that you think can help. Not only the black community, but the whole and all our communities entirely for this country and what this country needs to do to be better. Right. Write down who you think we, we, who should be the next president. 
and what type of candidates do we need to uh, elect for senator, for governor, right? What things do we need to do to change? That's what you can do for me. Whoever's listening to this video is under the sound of my voice. I want you to write down some things that you feel this country needs to do to become better. Just write those. You can write it on a piece of paper. You can type it on your computer, on your phone, tablet. There's ways you can do this. And I want you to let your voice be heard. I want you to state your opinion and what you feel about what's been going on. Because, see, we ain't got to worry about no COVID-19. We ain't got to, the virus ain't what we need to be worried about. Right? It's the ones that's empowered that we need to be worried about. It's, the, it's, it's these people in these uniforms that we got to be worried about. With a gun, right? They got a pistol. That can run up in, that can do whatever they want to do and feel they can abuse their power. That's the ones we need to be worried about. Right? We got to worry about the president. Right. We got a president that's Looney Tunes. And I know that when November comes around, I'm not going to be voting for him. I'm just tell you that right now. Right. And if y'all don't want that man to become president for a second term, then I suggest you all vote. Don't ever let anybody tell you that voting don't matter. It does. Because, see, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to tell you once again what we need to be doing. Down line. This is what I feel we need to be doing. And just like I said in the video, black folks under age, from the ages of 25 up, you need to go vote. If you ain't registered to vote, you need to go do it now as soon as possible. Right? You can register online. You can do it by mail. Right? There's ways you can go vote. And it's not going to hurt you to go to a polling place when that time does come and cast your vote. It doesn't hurt you. Yeah, you may have to stand in a long line, but at least you're doing something. Right. That's first and foremost. And on top of that, secondly, man, we need another state of emergency address. The one Sean P. D. P. D. D. Combs did when we was on the COVID-19 and we was like quarantined when the government basically shut down all um, businesses. Right. We need to have one of those. Now, I did a video a couple of months back, right when that was over, saying that we need to do one of the another one of those. Right. And what has happened since that time? You see, that's another thing that needs to change too, man. A lot of our celebrities and athletes, people that's billionaires in the media, man, y'all got to stop trying to stay silent when it's only convenient for you. Yeah, COVID-19 is bad for all businesses, but where is a state of emergency address when somebody like George Floyd gets killed? Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. I said that in my video. When these things happen, this is when we need to have another revote meeting. Now, for those who watch that state of emergency address, Hosted by Sean Diddy Combs. Y'all saw all those black politicians. You seen all those celebrities, all those um entertainers, right? YBN Corday, Fat Joe. You had um you had a whole lot of people on there. Right? He had the girl from Mixedish. Well, not Mixed she was she was from um uh, she's from Blackish, but she was from Grownish. You had her on there speaking. Yeah, all these people speaking, right? You had Killer Mike on there. My thing is, where are them? When this is going on, right? Where's Colin Kaepernick? Why is he speaking up, right? That's what I'm saying. And again, I don't hate Colin Kaepernick at all. I don't. I don't hate that brother. But I'm not going to go along with that brother's nonsense. Right? You spoke up when you was on the contract. Now that you don't have no contract, you just want to... Because being on Twitter, just type a statement, ain't nothing. You need to be speaking up, man. Where are you to speak up on these things, man? I ain't, I ain't heard from Colin Kaepernick since, or his girlfriend, since after that, uh, after he did that... uh. After the, uh, the NFL gave him that, that second chance to try to work out. And he changed things, right? We ain't heard him since. That's got to stop. Colin Kaepernick wasn't even on a state emergency um, video neither. No, that's got to end. That's what we need to do. We need to have another state of emergency meeting on Revote. That's what actually needs to happen. As soon as this um, as soon as soon um, Tuesday ends, and we go into Wednesday, the day after tomorrow, we need, uh, sometime down the future, we need another state of emergency address immediately. I said it, at least before the election comes, so we can decide what we need to do as a community for my black brothers and sisters. Another thing we need to stop doing too, we need to stop calling each other coons. Let's, let's stop that too. Right? You can't call somebody a coon because they have a difference of opinion. Right? You got to spread everybody's opinion. That's the whole part about being free in this country. Is everybody's entitled to their own opinion? Everybody's entitled to their own beliefs. You can follow whichever God you want to serve. Okay, yeah, if they say something that's ignorant to you, 
Okay, you you have the right to feel how you want to feel, but stop calling them coons because that's what the uh what the white folks was calling us back in the nineteen forties and fifties. Y'all all saw that movie Remember the Titans. You saw that man, right? That father say, I don't want my uh, son uh, playing for no Coach Coon. The white folks create that word first, right? We, we got to stop saying it. Another thing we need to stop saying too, even though I know it's hard to do, and a lot of people ain't going to do it, is saying the word nigga. And we don't like white folks saying the word nigga, then we got to stop calling ourselves nigga. And I made a vow to stop saying that word. No, I don't use that word too much on my videos. I don't. You rarely uh, hear me saying that word anymore. Let's stop calling each other the N-word. I don't care if it's nigga. Because if y'all like y'all like when Chuck Hayes, who's actually who's a white man who's actually down for the black community, that man dates black women. He got black friends. Y'all like him when he says it, right? Y'all don't like it when Iggy Azalea says it and she tries to act black. Y'all don't like that at all. Right? We gotta end that now. Yeah, we 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 got down or we, we everybody got on Kyle Larson's case. And NASCAR, he said that word right. I did a video on that, right? If we don't want them saying that the word, we we gotta stop calling ourselves that. That's another thing that we need to do to help the black community. And like Chronicles of Judah one forty four, it said on this channel, we gotta start. We gotta stop looking towards the white man to help us. Black man, black women. There's enough black billionaires out there. There's enough millionaires. If I stated earlier in these videos, right? You got P. Diddy and Beyonce, that's both billionaires, right? Diddy Combs got money. He's up there, right? Oprah Winfrey. You got Denzel Washington, LeBron James, Tiger Woods, right? We got Tyler Perry. We got all these people, right? Chris Rock. We got all these famous celebrities, entertainers. It's just like even shouts out the daylight, right? Shouts out to him. One spot only. He, he said it too. We got to start putting our money towards ourselves. That's what we got to start doing. Again, I can't preach that enough. We got to start building our own communities, right? We need to follow the uh, blueprint that the Jews, the Indians, you know what I'm saying? The people from India, what they have done in the Asian community, right? Even the Samoan community, right? For example, I know I watch wrestling. I've covered WB on my channel. But look at the Rock's um, Samoan side of family. Right? Look at the Noe family. Roman Reigns, Nia Jax, the Usos, right? All of them got their own wrestling um, company, right? Where they employ other um, Polynesians, other um, Pacific Islands that want to go into WWE. They got a platform. We need to start doing more things like that. For those of you who don't like the NFL, right, and you feel they racist, then why don't we start our own black league? There's other there's other leagues you can endorse your money in, right? Because when I was playing semi-pro football back in 2010, 2010 through, 20, um, through 2015, uh, Patty LaBelle had her own her own football league that I was playing for the LCFL. Patty LaBelle helped find it that founded that league, and she started. It was a black owned league. Right, you there's plenty of teams you can put your money in. Even Master P said we should start our own league. If you feel the NFL is racist and they don't treat black people right, then there's other avenues. Okay, we need to stop trying to rely on these on these on these white folks who ain't gonna give you no uh, reparations. Let's just be honest, we'll never see no reparations. Y'all can forget about that. Stop trying to ask for reparations. Stop trying to ask for a handout. And we need to build our own community. Because we can literally create our own police force. What Huey P. Newton did back in the 1970s, we could be doing in 2020. The movement Malcolm X started in the 1950s and 60s. We can do that now. Along with uh, Martin Luther King's theories. Okay? Black man, black woman, we got to do better as a community. We got to learn to take care of our community. Tearing up, looting, and rioting, that's not going to help me anything but cause more pain. That's all it's doing. You put more and more people out of jobs, right? And you got to live in this community. That's See, that's my problem, right? I live in Long Beach. They done tore up like they tore up L.A. We got to wake up to this every day. And it takes businesses months to recover. People gotta stop acting like it's only gonna be or oh, it's only gonna be uh, it's gonna recover in six months. I like, know, because of the virus, it may take people two years to fully recover. But again, we gotta take care of our own community. We gotta do better as a people, right? Bloods and Crips. And I keep saying this: the hood, y'all gotta unite. Now is the time. 
I've seen all these posts. People put showing pictures of the Italians, right? They tying a flag around for the black folks. They say they're down. Now it's time to unite. This is what Tupac, Nipsey Hussle, right? Part of you, this is what they all been, this is what Tupac and um, Nipsey Hussle have been trying to tell you before they both passed away, before they died. Because Nipsey was trying to continue what Tupac was trying to do. Yeah, Tupac was going to start a revolution. But Tupac and Nipsey Hussle wanted Bloods and Crips to all unite. Essays included. The Asian sets. I know there's some Asian game bangers out there. And my Usos, you know what I'm saying? The Samoan hoods. It's time for us to all unite. Because if we all unite, we'll have an army. The police definitely can't mess with us then. So again, that's what's going on now. That's what we need to do. If we can do those four things, we'll be better. We'll be, we'll be stronger as a community. Because yeah, and this is nothing y'all got to still understand. Just because Michelle Obama's not running for president and Obama's not in there, again, that doesn't mean you don't go vote. Again, you got to go vote. Pay your taxes, man. Young black men, young uh, young black women. And this is for the kids, right? Let me talk to the young folks real quick while I'm at it, right? You young folks, the ones that's graduated high school, because I know this is graduation time. I, I have a couple of uh, my cousins. Shouts out to Briley Hankins in Arizona. Shouts out to my, my little cousin, uh, Isaac Kemp. Those are two of my cousins on my father and mother's side who are both graduated high school. And this goes out to any of the children who have graduated, right? To you young folks, you young 20-year-olds who have graduated college. Shouts out to you too. To the middle schools, elementary school kids, shouts out to you too. But for the young folks, learn to educate yourself. Stay out the streets. I'm going to tell you that now. Find you a trade. You know what I'm saying? Go back to school. Educate yourselves. Learn about your history. Since they're not going to teach you black history in your uh, in regular grade school, go to college and learn that. Start learning about your culture. Learn about your native language, your native tongue as a black person. Start learning about who you are. Because once you learn about your past, you can determine what your future is going to be. That's another thing we need to do as a black community. It starts with these kids, these children. Right? And when my get of age, I'm, I'm going to tell them as they get older, including my own godson, who I love dearly. Right? I'm going to tell you young folks like I'm going to tell my children, like I tell my kids. Y'all got to start learning about who you are. Study it as you get older. Okay? Because you can't expect some of the school system to teach you the things you need to be taught. Yeah, a lot of things was rewritten. A lot of history was stolen from our people. But we can get all that back. Learn about your ancestry. Learn about your family, your true last name and where you come from. Learn about your native tribe. That's one thing that I'm going to start doing myself. Is learning more and more about who I am and where my uh, where my African roots lie. That's what we need to start doing, young folks. Leave that weed alone. Leave that drugs alone. Leave that lean alone. I did a video about that. Right? When uh when Juice World uh, uh, Juice World died, I told y'all to leave that drugs alone. Do not listen to somebody like Future who don't who's only doing it for the money. Right? That's not somebody you want to look up to in the rap game. Leave that lean alone. Do not pop pills. Just because you see your friends doing it at a party don't mean you do it. Black folks, leave that stuff alone. It's not good for you, young folks. Right? If you do less of that stuff, you'll be better off. And I don't, I don't even smoke weed no more. I, be, I left weed alone. I don't smoke weed because I don't like... Because the one thing weed does to me, it gets me act a certain way. Yeah, weed is enjoyable. It gets you high. And it's fun. But at the same time, too, I start acting... I start acting, I start acting kind of out of control. I'm not myself. Now, some of the stuff I do may be funny when I'm in when I'm high, but at the same time, too, I'm, I don't like being paranoid. I'm not myself. I say things I shouldn't be speaking. And I've been left that marijuana alone. I'm over five years clean. Yes, marijuana is a plant. It can be good for you, but it's everybody's not, it's not to be supposed to be used for recreational use. It's not used to be been smoked and inhaled. Four or five times a day. The problem is our young folks are doing too much weed. And that's all you want to do. Because when I was really a pothead and when I was really smoking weed, I didn't want to really work no real job. Yeah, I was going to school, but all I want to do is lay around all day, right? Kick it with my homies, smoke weed, and do nothing else. That made me way too lazy. Me not smoking weed is why I got it, well, I was able to work as long as I did. Right? So I had the job I've had. 
for seven years. That's why I was able to do a lot of things I didn't get a chance to do back when I was 19, 18 doing it. So you young folks, again, man, stay away from the drugs. And another thing I'm going to say too, you young folks, learn to save your money. Get you a job and save your money. I told my uh, my god brother this. I, to I told my little brother this, right? My All my siblings, my niece and nephews, I'm telling all of them, right? Save your money, young folks. Especially you ones who just graduated high school, right? And you're on your way to college or you're on your way to find you a good job, right? Figure out something you want to do and save your money. Develop a good credit score now. If you work on building your credit now and save your money, that means by the time y'all reach 25, right, you'll be already set to get your own place. You'll be able to buy you a house, get the car you always wanted, and you'll be able to have you a savings fund and be able to start you a business if you want, start you a brand. There'll be a whole lot of things that you can do by the time you reach 25. And I'm only telling you this because I've had other people tell me these things. And I'm telling you this from my own life experience. So you young folks, again, stay away from the drugs as much as possible, right? Don't be influenced. Be your own person. If you see your friends or your best friend doing something you feel is uncomfortable for you, then don't do it. Right? Leave that hustling life alone. Right, stay stay away from the jail. Don't do things that's gonna don't do things that's gonna get you put in jail. Right, if you see your friend shoplifting, you don't do the same thing. Let them go to jail if they want to. Cause this prison system ain't ain't for us at all. It's not. But you can avoid that by listening. Okay, save your money now, you young folks. Save your money, young man, young lady. Save your money. And another thing we got to do is, again, we got to raise our kids. Parents, you know, say if you had a child, don't abort your child. Again, we in a free country. I, I, I'm against abortionism. But I feel a woman has a right to do what she wants to do with her body. But again, if you're not ready for a child, wrap it up. The main problem with the black community is we, we aborting too many kids. God don't like ugly all, man. This is why this country is under so many things going on. Because we're being judged for it. Right? Again, whoever decides to have a baby, again, man, you understand that when we have when we abort a child, you killing a life that could possibly be man, meant something to the world. You you killing a possible world leader. So again, the one thing to stop abortionism, right, and to stop kids from getting abused is don't have them if you ain't ready. Wrap it up. But for, again, for the ones who got kids, beat up for your kids, man. Again, I know Father's Day is gonna be coming up this month, right? Be there for your children. Let's learn to take care of our kids now. A lot of these children should not be fatherless or motherless at that. Let's be good examples. Right? So that's one of the things that I feel we need to do as a black community. It starts with us. We want these white folks, especially these officers, to respect us. Then we got to respect ourselves. Let's stop the black on black violence. The, the killing of another black man. No, let's, let's end that now. That's learn to respect each other. Yeah, I'm sorry for y'all. I'm um, I got a lot of people hitting me up, but yeah, man, let us do that now. So yes, this screen is black, but it's black for that reason because it's Blackout Tuesday. And I'm only saying this now as early as possible because I want to get this out the way. But this is just how I feel. And this is what a lot of black people, a lot of black people in America is doing the same thing. They, they Again, they back on the screen. This is part of the protest. But these are things that I, I've been wanting to, that I feel people need to hear. Again, I do a lot of these videos because I care. I don't just do sports. I don't just cover video games, right? I don't just talk about hip hop. I don't just talk about wrestling. Every now and then I'll do a video like this to show y'all what needs to be done and what's going on. And the reason why I respond to people like Zachary K. Hubbard and other uh, YouTubers, because again, they're part of the problem. They cause a disruption. Like the other brother I had to respond to, right? Nigga, how are you a Jamaican dude? How are you doing Jamantra, right? And you and you switching between picks. And I told y'all that, man. Y'all need to stop falling behind that nonsense. Hubbard, somebody showed me a video the other day where Hubbard is talking about the nation of Islam. I'm like, why? Right? That's, that's what I'm talking about, man. People who disrespect the culture. That's what I don't like. It, it ticks me off. Right? And I'm tired of... Again, I don't like beefing with Hubbard, but again, dude, when Hubbard made that video saying 42 equals the N-word, 
Again, dude, he that showed you right there and there what he was. And the problem is you got other YouTubers who's doing the same thing. They disrespect the culture. They disrespect what our people have done, how hard we have to work. Yet you wonder why a lot of black folks can't let racism go. Now y'all understand it. Now you see it. I, and on my YouTube channels, I've had to check other black folks. Like Cut Cash Productions, that dude, man. I had to let them know that our black people work hard. Wasn't nothing given to us, right? When you say that the uh, NFL and sports are scripted, you saying that our black folks didn't earn it. That every black person as a party's teams didn't have to get up at 5, 6 in the a.m., right? They have to train for long hours, right? Have to go in the film room and study. And they didn't, they, and they, um, they couldn't um, become team. They, they didn't motivate and push their other teammates to work just as hard as they did. Ain't nothing given to us at all. Nothing. Everybody who see you TV, they own there because they worked hard to get where they are. So y'all got to understand that, black folks. Ain't nothing given to you, right? Stop bringing up the Illuminati and stop bringing up Freemasonry in an argument every time you feel that you fail. Stop doing that. We got to stop making excuses. That's another thing. We need to hold ourselves accountable for the wrong things we do. For those who decide they want to um, push that drug money, right, you want to hustle, just know what consequences that comes behind that. You could go to jail or you could get shot and killed. Right? That's what we need to do as people. We need to hold ourselves accountable. And just know that again, us being black skin, things was against us since day one. Right? The world is not fair at all. But we can basically beat the system by be by elevating ourselves, right? Evolving. That's what we need to do. So anybody that's watching the video, I want you to evolve. Whatever you did previously, like the last few years that's not working, think of another way to uh, help yourself better uh, uh, for a solution. Find a better solution to the problem. Okay? We got to stop being emotional. That's the problem. Right? We overreact and we act too emotional and we don't think ahead and we don't plan before we do things. That's got to stop. So yeah, so this is one of these videos where I'm serious. I'm not playing around. I'm not doing this just to make myself look good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not ratting. I'm not doing none of that. And and this goes for the for the, the religious people, right? You religious folks, okay? Yes, okay. I'm a Christian, just like anybody else that believes. But we gotta stop trying to force our religion on other people that don't want to believe it. Either they like it or they don't. And we got to stop. We, we got to learn to forgive others, man. Stop using the religion, the, the faith to talk about somebody else, right? Leave these rappers, leave these celebrities alone. Right? Black folks that, that's, that has other YouTube channels. Stop.